hello and hello to all of my Taurians. This is Queen of Mora coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for Sunday the 18th of, um, of June through the, night, uh, through the 18th of July. Let's get into it. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. Let's go Taurus. Let's see what your cards have to say. All right. Every Sunday or preparation for the following you know, week, you have questions. Um, get you prepared for, in this case, Libra. We have a, a first quarter moon phase in Libra. We are currently in a new moon phase. And so that portal started opening on the uh, 16th. And so it's fully open on the 18th. So we're, like I said, if you are watching the video on Thursday, so you got a couple of more hours to, you know, you know, think about moving forward. We have two planets that are currently retrograde, Pluto and also Saturn are retrograde. So uh, Saturn is in Pluto. I'm sorry. Yeah, Saturn is in, I'm sorry. Saturn is in, in uh, Pisces. I meant to say Pisces, not Pluto. But Saturn is in Pisces. And so if you're feeling a little wishy-washy as to how you should proceed moving forward, it's always best to vibrate high. So let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what the cards have to say, Taurus. Let us see. Let us see. Again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart. So somebody has definitely tapped into their um, this psychic gifts, you know. Um, so here we have High Priestess Energy. We have the um, Wheel of the Year. We have Eight of Swords. We also have Five of Swords and also the Wisdom. Um, um, the wisdom and then the Dame of Swords. So... To overthink your intuition is self-sabotage. This is the Eight of Swords. This is self-sabotage to overthink your spiritual gifts. And that's what somebody's been trying to, that's what God has been trying to get out of somebody the entire time. And so every time you try to do something without God, then it's a it's a disaster. I mean, really, to try to not listen to your intuition. And so now somebody could be really thinking, you know, had I listened to my intuition about every single thing in my life, it, it goes deeper than a person going, gosh, I should have listened to my first mind. This is where Source is saying to you, pay attention to your intuition from now on. You're too wise for this. And so, and make this your year. Like, speak this into existence. I'm going to start listening to my intuition. I'm going to start making some decisions based on talking to God first. You know, I learned some lessons in the past. There's two situations in the past. And, you know, one of the things that I'm picking up on too, and again, only take what resonates with you. Somebody could have been married to two people in particular in the past that said, you know what, something told me not to marry them again if that's not your situation obviously I'm not talking to you but somebody could have said you know when I in hindsight you know hindsight being 2020 when I really think about it something told me not to marry these energies or something told me not to um or to take that job or something told me that something was the voice of God inside of you. And so somebody's going to be feeling a whole lot better, you know, moving on from some situations from your past, you know, finally moving on from your situations from the past. Again, it's always better to vibrate higher, right? Meaning that I'm listening to my intuition. My intuition is telling me that I need to move on from some things. And that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm not going to fight against my intuition. Right, no matter how tempting it may be, the enemy is always trying to tempt everybody to move to look back, just like this. See how this person right here? This person is looking at which relationships didn't work out, which jobs didn't work out, and that's what the enemy loves to do: keep us in with our head, you know, down. Like, oh gosh, you know, I, you know, I'll never make friends again because those last friends betrayed me, or I'll never be in love again because these situations didn't work out, or you know. I got to stay on this job and apply, you know, keep applying for positions and they keep turning me down, even though, I mean, like the enemy loves to keep us in a state of just disappointment, you know, always thinking, you know, well, well, why would God allow me to go through all of these things? God is trying to promote somebody to the next level, but somebody is, you know, and it's nothing wrong with asking God why, but staying in gratitude, we get those answers a lot faster. Here we have the Empress card. So somebody's definitely going through a rebirth here, and it's going to bring you additional stream of income. So prepare yourself. Like I said, do you want additional stream of income, or do you want to keep asking God why did something go wrong and, you know, those kind of things. If, you, if you're asking God those questions, be prepared for the response. Be prepared for the answer. So you're an earth sign. Go sit near water outside. Go to a beach. Go to a lake you know, outside, hug a tree near water. And I'm serious when I say that too, because Source is trying to give somebody some answers. 
Swords is trying to give somebody some answers. So here we have the Star card. We also have the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Nine of Cups. And so the Star card lets me know that somebody could have a lot of thoughts about somebody that you had children with or a child, children, because I'm seeing, you know, the Empress card, right? You could have had kids with them or thinking about having kids with them or something. But here we have the um, here we have the Queen of Cups sources saying be compassionate towards the situation. Just leave it behind. It could have caused somebody to be in a Ten of Swords situation right here. Sources saying get up. No more woe is me. You know, those Ten of Swords, remember Ten of Swords could be about a lot of different things. A lot of times people think, okay, all of these stab wounds, they, you know, it could be smear campaigns. It could have been, um, could have been, you know, you being a black sheep of the family. It does source can represent a lot of things. It could represent you lost loved ones and certainly somebody didn't die on purpose to hurt, you know, to, you know, cause you pain. You know, it was just their time to move on. So source is saying, take everything case by case and decide how you're going to proceed. Do you want to create altars to loved ones who have transitioned? Do you want to, you know, go to counseling or therapy for relationships that didn't work out in the past? Are there some relatives you need to sever ties with because they're just negative? They don't even give you a chance to even process, you know, the hurt that you've gone through. So this is what Source is saying to you. You'll have wish fulfillment when you are in the process of being compassionate towards the energies that you're leaving behind. But I see somebody putting a manhole cover over the past and saying, I'm moving on from that. I'm moving on. I'm not looking at what relationships didn't work out professionally or personally. I'm moving on. I learned what lesson I need to. I'm not going to stop overthinking it. Because right now, the more and more you start to overthink relationships that didn't work out, somebody's going to, the more and more you're going to think people were manipulating you or they were so manipulative or gaslighting and all of that other stuff. So it's just like, if you can think, if you spend that much time thinking about how manipulative and narcissistic or psychopathic or whatever kind of energy is only sucking you down into a black hole. And so Source wants you to move on from it. So here we have the Hanged Woman, the Eight of Wands, the King of Coins, the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune again, and the Strength card. So... Source is saying, I'm trying to make this a year. I'm trying to reiterate, this is your year. This is your year. Think expansion. Think expansion. Think expansion. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. King of Coins is the wealthiest card in the deck. And this is not This is not just in terms of your reputation. This is like Source is trying to make somebody rich, rich, right? <laughs> like, like healthy, wealthy, like wealth in, in terms of your health, your prosperity, your career success, like wealthy all the way around, like really trying to change somebody's life. So... It, and it's going to come in an additional stream of income. So it, it source is not saying quit your job. You know, if you're working a job and you feel like, okay, I, I know I got some more creative ideas inside of me. Source is saying, I'm trying to add to that. So you're going to have to think bigger, like really think expansion here. Tap into your strength and move on from something. You know, put a manhole cover over the past, right? And say, you know what? I need to move on. Here we have the hang, the hang person, right? So source is saying to you, Hang in there with yourselves. Um, you've received information through your thoughts. You've received information through your emotions. Now it's time to change courses here. It's time to reroute and watch how quickly things are going to happen for you. We have the, um, here we have the nine of cups, both situations for you. You'll be able to like move on, you know, and I'm seeing wish fulfillment for you to be able to move on from two situations in particular. And I see you moving on fast actually, because it all, it's almost like somebody really wants to move on, but it's just been, every time you think about it, it's just overwhelming. Me. But you got to remember, it is because of these moon phases that we're in. And now we have two planets that are retrograde. So Pluto is that planet of generational. It's a generational planet. And so somebody is not only breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. And for you, you may have felt like I thought these energies would be able to go into my future with me. But time is relative. It really doesn't even exist. You know, it's like, what lessons did you learn about those relationships? You know, if you, if you have to measure time through a, a calendar or a clock or whatever the case may be, sources like, what lesson did you learn about yourself? What lesson did you learn about yourself in these relationships? We have the six of diamonds. So somebody's been looking, you know, somebody could have been looking for some approval from these energies and that could have been the start of the disappointment, but some kind of an approval is coming through from source. So we have the 10 of, we have the 10 of spades, six of spades. And so this 10 of spades right here looks like, you know, something was devastating for somebody. It was like, 
somebody was to some degree looking for you know like some people they get married as a way to save them from their family i know that sounds crazy for some people but it has happened like some people you know like you've heard of people saying you know what i i had to get away from my entire family so i married young or i felt like you know i um but anyway moving forward or you know I, I accepted the first job offer that came along because my job was so horrible. I just jumped from one bad job into a worse situation and I didn't even listen to my intuition. Something told me when I was interviewing for that job, this is not the one. I should have saturated the market with more resumes and I didn't. I just took the first thing that came across my path and I, I, I you know, jumped into something too soon and I should have listened to my intuition. I should have known better. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time beating yourself up. You've already beat yourself up enough. Sources like, okay, get up and move on. Here we have the six of spades here. And so I do see somebody, like I said, leaving the past behind. No regret. Just, you know what? I forgive myself. I forgive hurt done by other people. I forgive everybody. But if it's that triggering for you, I see you severing ties with it and really moving on, like completely severing ties. Here we have the four of, um, here is four, six, and king of clubs right here. This is what's going to make somebody very wealthy is that you have never lost the ability to come up with some really fire ideas, some really great ideas. When I say fire, I'm talking about wands, energy, fire. Some really fire ideas. With that same fire ideas, first and foremost, you're going to say, I'm going to toss everything that was kind of sort of stunting my growth, that was hindering me from, you know, you know, thinking about anything else besides that. It's something about burning something in fire, Right. Um, just that, that feeling of feeling liberated and free. I'm getting rid of papers, text messages, emails. I'm getting rid of everything that is connected to my pain. Um, I don't need the receipts. I don't need that energy around my house. I don't need that in my space. I don't need that on my cell phone. I don't need that on my person. I don't need that energy. And so, and then we have, like I said before, we have the, uh, we have the, let me make sure we got everything. We also have the um, six and four of, and so I see. I feel like some, it's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of somebody's shoulders, and I see victory for you. I see, you know, you say, I, I feel victorious over the things that the enemy sent my way. God allowed the enemy to send some things your way to test to see if you were really, really ready to step into, like somebody has been running from their gifts for a long time. And so when we are disobedient with source, we're asking source for one thing. It's almost like when I look at your cards, you know, full disclosure, Taurus, it looks like somebody was trying to ask God to prove God to God, to you. Like you were saying, okay, God, I'm going to test you. And all I can tell you is good luck with that. So if you believe in the Bible, go find the scriptures. If you really believe in the Bible, go find the scriptures. Plenty of people have tried to test God. And the fact that you are breathing, you know, the fact that when you inhale and you're able to exhale, that alone should say to you, okay, I know that God is real. The fact that there were times where somebody looks like, and I'm not trying to preach to somebody. I'm only telling you what I'm seeing here in the cars because the fact that you survived all the things that you survived from your own family. This is something else that you can, that you've survived, but God is saying to you, this is your year. And it's, it's, it's being, it's being, um, reiterated twice. God is saying, this is your year. This is your year. Get up, get up. All of that living and guilt. And I should have listened and I should have, I should have known X, Y, and Z. Who are you really angry with? Who are you really angry? Are you cursing the God in somebody else, the same God that's in you? Are you cursing, you know, that person was such and such, that person manipulated me, they gaslighted me, they did this and that to me? Or are you angry that you did not listen to source? Only you know that. Only you know that. So when, when people start saying something told me, they're saying God told me. God told me. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's get ready to close this out. Let's get ready to close it out, Taurus. Let's go. Yes. Let's see what your oracle cards have to say. And also, um, here we have the moon and Libra coming up on the 26th, right? So here are the questions that you want to ask yourselves. Here are the questions you want to ask yourselves. And if you want to type them out and put it to put it at the top of the, the, um, the video, you can do that. So the moon and Libra really strives for peace and, and balance and also beauty. 
It desires equality, right? Expansiveness. That's that's when I told you. Like somebody, your ancestors are saying, look at it from an expanded view. Like, what lesson did God need you to learn about yourself? Source has been trying to make somebody very wealthy. It may have been. It obviously it's not. It was without certain people. It's like every time God exposed people around. Every time you say, God, you know, I know it's predestined for me to be wealthy. I know it's predestined for me to be wealthy. It looked like somebody had a hard time ending friendships. It looked like somebody had a hard time walking away from jobs. It looked like somebody had a real hard time. Like somebody was just like a, just really struggling with that. And so it's just like you asked. You want. You already predestined to be wealthy. You're already predestined to be wealthy, but there's sacrifices that you have to make. You can't take everybody along with you. Not everybody is going to be able to handle what God has for you. Some people are going to show their jealousy right up front. Some people are going to show, mm -mm, nah, the way you're getting wealthy is not the same way I'm getting wealthy. It doesn't make your way bad, doesn't make their way bad. But the way that you're getting to your wealth may not be in alignment with the way that somebody else gets to their wealth. You're going to find out on the other side of this, there's some people that you thought meant you harm, didn't mean you any harm at all. And they too are very, very wealthy, right? But they got it the way that, that God destined for, predestined for them to get wealthy, just like God already predestined for you to be wealthy. And how you all got to that could have been totally different. So expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Source is trying to get somebody to see something from an expanded point of view. Because if you're operating in the flesh and that ego is taking over, everybody is wrong. And it, it'll make, it'll make, we've all come in contact with people who would never apologize for anything. It's everybody else's fault. They'll never apologize. Their ego is just like, just running, just wild in their spirit. And then, like I said before, then you have people who are like, you know what? The truth of the matter is I, sh I, I should have listened to Source. I should have listened to God. And so that's what, that's the lesson that I learned. I should have listened to God. There was every sign under the sun in my face, right? So here we have sacrifice, always a sacrifice. 36, you must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self. Embracing it all is embracing truth. So here's the questions before we, um, let me make sure. Here are the questions. First question is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty and harmony to the world and how could you amplify that second question is what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves third question is do you receive as much as you give or vice versa fourth question is which e which small steps could you take to create a more beautiful create more beauty in your life the thing about you and libra is that both of you all actually are ruled by venus right the goddess of love and so venus is a feminine planet when when divine feminine energy is out of alignment it can be quite chaotic and confusing right so sources like bring things into divine order so that's the beauty of being in human form god gives you free will you have the choice to sit with self and say you know, I should have listened to my intuition, but I won't, you know, I, I won't ignore source again. Right. And so last but not least, here's the last question. What would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? So these are the same questions for every single zodiac sign. So, you know, if you listen to Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, any other zodiac sign, Sagittarius, whatever, you're going to hear the same exact questions because source is trying to get you to balance things out. So bring everything into order. You're the judge, jury, and the executioner of your universe, your universe, right? Your co-creator. So here we have emotions are running high. Yeah, because the cycle is closing out. And so you can you can go into a rebirth. You can deliver as stress-free as possible by saying, okay, source, I surrender to you. Or it can be about who hurt you and, and how somebody got over and how this happened and that happened and still be in fight mode. See how this person, see how something is already over? And somebody got, they looking back like, I wish a so-and-so would. Mm -mm. Put the swords down. It's over and move on so that you can see the blessings coming your way. The blessings right in front of you. Something is already over. And somebody could be still in fight mode. So there we go. Abundance planning. I'm telling you, source is trying to make somebody very wealthy, but there is, has to be a sacrifice. Somebody's going to have to really sit with self and, and admit that, you know, um, 
See, another thing that I'm pulling out of your cards too, Taurus, is that somebody could have had a bad run-in with loved ones who could be like super religious, <clears throat> right? And let me, let me see how, you never hear me say anything negative about church on my channel. And I don't say anything negative about church in general because I've learned a lot from church, right? You know, even since I was a child, right? Learned a lot from church. It is the fact that we are clothed in this human flesh that makes us flawed. So if you have a bad experience in church and you say everybody in that church is evil, it's, it's, is that true? Or is it your truth that God said, okay, your time is up here. And, and so now it's time to move on from this, right? You've learned what I needed you to learn here. And so move on, but don't, don't stick around and try to lure everybody else away from it saying, oh, I can't stand the pastor. I can't stand those people in that ministry, you know, ministry. Same thing with a job. You know, when you leave something, leave a job or move to a different department, do you bash your old job? Oh, those were just a bunch of, you know, such and such and such and such. Or do you say, okay, it, my time is up here and it's time for me to wrap this up, close out the cycle airtight and move on, right? Or same thing in a romantic relationship. Oh, my ex was crazy. You know, they were delusional. They were doing all it. You know, how some people say things and the sarcasm, it's the intention behind it. It's hurt, very hurtful. You know, I hope that this person gets the help that they need because they, they, you know, suffering from mental illness and all of this other stuff. Well, they were a product of your intelligent decision. So you intentionally, you know, were you was it a charity for you? Like, you know, you got to really, same thing with some friendships. The friendship ended. So some people feel like they got to talk about people before, not to say that that's you, Taurus, but some people feel like they got to talk about people before somebody else talks about them. So it's for somebody to really sit down and look at self because there's a lot of wealth coming your way. And you think that with this amount of wealth, this is the wealthiest card, then more, more tests aren't coming. Somebody, God wants you to master it right now. Like really be in, in you know, I got to, God, I got to tune in. Because if you send me this level of wealth, I'm not trying to blow torch my own wealth by talking about certain energies where I'd recognize at a higher frequency, God allowed energies to come across my path to test me to see if I would listen to my intuition. Come on. So there's plenty of people who work in agencies where they don't have the same last name. This is how a lot of people get tripped up in third. I'm talking about third dimension right now. There's a lot of people who work in agencies where people, um, and, I, and God is putting this on my heart to tell somebody, because somebody could be working for a government agency or whatever. And you be, you be real careful about who you're talking about, because somebody that you may have talked about in, in certain circles may not have the same last name, whether it's a whether it's a government agency, whether it's a new friendship circle that you're in, whether it's a... Um, whether it's a new love interest that you're involved in, you never know who knows whom. And when you're talking to people, and just because they don't have the same last name, or they could be a different complexion or a different skin color or a different so-and-so, you don't know who you're talking to. So it's always best to keep your vibrations high because people could be bringing people information back and you think, okay, these are my friends or whatever, and they're working for the other side. They're the op right? So source is saying to you, pay attention. Just it's better to keep your vibrations high, right? Right. And tell God, if you got some, if you got to tell it, tell God, just tell source. Um, number card. That's what I was trying to pick up. Number card. And anyway, it's not by coincidence that I picked this card up. Here's Ace of Pentacles, right? So Ace of Pentacles is really about, you got this out of the mud. You work very, very hard to earn your money. So source is like, don't fumble it. Like really just don't fumble your reputation. Don't fumble your credibility. Don't fumble the bag, right? And it's, we're not talking about just money bag. We're talking about don't mess up. Don't cut your nose off to spite your face because somebody is so hurt. They're running around hurting other people. And so source is like... 
Source is not only trying to tell you how to get, get the bag, the bag of health, wealth, prosperity, security, stability. It's not just about money. It's about your healthy relationships with other human beings, right? 1111, I am awakening. I'm telling you, somebody is highly spiritually gifted, but somebody has been running away from something because they feel like, you know, you know, somebody told them, you know, like when I'm talking to people and people is like, well, you know, my pastor says such and such. I asked specifically, did your pastor say that or do you did you assume was that your takeaway that your pastor said it or was that your takeaway that were they were they inferring that or whatever? Well, did they say it directly? Most of the time, the answer is no, they didn't say it directly. If you assume that schedule an appointment with your spiritual leader and ask, is this what you meant by such and such? Ask, give them an opportunity to explain to you. But again, because people hear certain things and they just run with it, right? So here we have 1111. I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you to wake up to who you truly are. Sources like, come on and walk through your portal. Walk through that, walk through those gate, walk through those those pillars, right? Have your awakening. That's what somebody somebody has been running from their gifts for their entire almost their entire life. Could you imagine running from God? I mean, like for real, like running from your gifts because you're scared. A lot of people do it every single day and they just walk in the earth like a zombie. Too afraid to answer the call on their lives. But that is what I have for you. Let's pull an affirmation card and let's close it out. Let's pull an affirmation card and let's close it out, Taurus. But you got this. Confidence. I matter. I am kind. I act in spite of fear. I keep the promises I make to myself. My voice matters. Someone needs to hear it. My tribe wants me to succeed. That's the key right there. A lot of people keep family members and so-called friends around them. That's what I'm trying to tell you is that, oh, and then we're going to this way. I allow doubt to float away with ease. Sometimes people just keep bodies around them thinking that, okay, I've known this person for 10, 20, 30 years. And that person is flirting with your significant other. That person is talking about you behind your back. That person, and then, then when it happens, and then when God exposes it, because you just won't listen to any sign, all of, us, all of a sudden, it's like everything came crashing down. So Source is trying to get somebody to start listening to their intuition. Raise your frequency. Raise your frequency so that you can hear clearly what Source is saying. That is what I have for you, Taurus, and I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.